Listen guys, this video had to pop off and die and I had to redo it. So I know the devil does not want me to make this video. I hope everything is good for you guys on the other side of the world. It is Ethan J from Kingdoms Athletics. If you guys don't know, I got two YouTube channels, right? One where I talk specifically about my scientific journey of becoming the most scientific based personal trainer that I could ever become, right? And I'm gonna show you my journey into getting gains, right? The next part of my uh, YouTube channel is talking about Christianity and my battle and struggle and my way to the cross, finding my way to following Jesus and becoming a better man and a better Christian. You guys are watching my Christian channel where I talk specifically about Christian based content. I'm not a preacher, I'm not a prophet, I'm not an evangelist. I'm a man that loves the concept of Jesus Christ. I love the concept of the Bible. I love the concept of God. And that's this is just me speaking from my heart. So I'm not really giving you guys a written script. But I wanna talk to you guys today about something really powerful. So I'm on day three or day four of no nutting, if I'm really honest with you guys, right? And um, recently I had to go through this thing where I had to cut off a few people from my life because there's certain types of energies that they were carrying. And I was like, yo, to be honest with you, like I keep reaching out to you because I'm looking for, you know, for, for friendship. And I'm trying to like, you know, have people to go with to the gym and I'm trying to like, you know, I'm trying to mingle, you know? And it's not, and, and when you mingle with certain people, man, it's not even about the people, it's just about the energy that they're carrying. It could be difficult. So I had to cut off a whole bunch of people and I'm feeling really amazing today. Like it's been day three of me like cleaning my act up, getting right. And you know what? I'm gonna start to start making content um, and blowing this preaching channel, talking to you guys about the powers of mental shifting and today's video is going to be about breaking generational curses. So I, I pray that Lord Jesus has mighty mercy on me, who's just, I'm just a regular dude. I'm not a prophet. I don't feel like I'm called for ministry. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm, I'm meant for like some type of higher endeavor. I, I was not like branded when I was a kid. But today I'm going to talk about generational curses and why I think this will help so many people. So how many of you come from, a past that's really, really bad, right? Like I'm talking before you were even born, right? I had to take a look back at my um, guardians and I had to look at their life and I had to look at everyone before me and I come to realize a few things. Man, the people before me were unhealthy, they weren't fit, you know, they were barely getting by, they had terrible control of their emotions and my family's full of death, poverty, and suffering, if I'm really honest with you guys. Like literally, just laziness, death, poverty, depression, and nobody really found their way out to making money. No one made their way to becoming a millionaire. No one found their way to changing life. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, and I, I asked myself one day, I'm like, and even to me, uh, I even reflected and asked God, I'm like, God, like, why is it that my family has no trail of success? There's not one person who was able to do it right. Everybody failed. And now I'm in this position where I have to be the only male running the show and I have no guidance, not even one person showing me how to do it. Not showing me habits, not showing me patterns, not showing me anything. So I'm just trying to make this up on my own. And to be honest with you, if I'm really blunt, I've been failing. But by the grace of God, God has helped me reflect and figure out some stuff. And that's what I'm gonna share with you guys today. For anybody that's out there that's in similar situations like me, if you come from a two-parent home, you probably won't even relate to my videos because I don't come from a two-parent home. If you come from a place where, if you come from a place where you had it easy and your parents pay for your allowance, right? Then, dude, you're not gonna relate to my videos. Like, just go find somebody else. You're not gonna relate if you've never had hardship in your life. I've been paying rent since I was 16, 17 years old. I've been paying for everything on my own since I was young. I've been going to work and grinding it out, trying to find a way to make an income to support my family before I could even decide on what my future and my destiny could be, right? My father died when I was three years old. I'm not here to ask you for a pity party. I'm here to tell you that when I mean generational curses, I mean, bro, I got some freaking generational curses in my family. And my dad didn't die a cuddly death. He died a pretty violent, sad death, right? So anger, uh, rage, uh, jealousy, uh, family ties, it's the whole bit, the whole freaking bit. I grew up and I grew up in poverty. Mom was on the welly check. I'm talking terrible generational curses. But let me talk to you about Jesus and God. I 
I am not gonna sit and stand here and just believe that because my skin tone and my nose um, and the fact that I'm not five foot ten and look like Ruslan KD that I can't find success it, with with the Lord's help. I believe that if you if you align yourself with kingdom principles, if you align yourself with seeking and trying to find the Lord, and if you try to break and change your life. Lord willing and doing things holistically as well as practically, right? So fitness, education, um, going to the gym, uh, getting a new career, learning new skills. If you focus on doing these things, you can better your life. And you're about to watch me not only do it, but I'm going to share my energy so that many of you guys will find the way to. Now, I don't know what it's going to be like for you, but I'm going to show you what it's going to be like for me, for my channel, right? So breaking generational curses. I'm going to make a pretty bold prayer today, right? Stay Stay with me. Um, God bless you if you're still standing with this video. I'm gonna make a prayer. Dear Lord, Father God, I gotta keep my eyes on the road, so I'm sorry, I would normally close my eyes. But dear Lord, Father God, I pray, I pray, I pray that on this day, that you may help anybody watching this video overcome any demonic presences that are holding them away from their God-given purpose. Every single demon that is holding us and binding us, whether that's pornography, masturbation, hatred, jealousy, uh, cannabis consumption, uh, alcohol problems, whether that's pride, witchcraft, coveting, boasting, stealing, right, egoism, right? Whether it's denying Jesus Christ, whether it's denying the Holy Spirit, whether that's uh, depression, uh, apathy, laziness, right? Whatever spiritual warfare that is holding my these people back, myself included, I. I break them and I bind them and I ask the Lord's mercy and finding a way to break them even if it's not right now in Jesus name and I pray that for every person watching this video whether you come from a bad parent like you have an alcoholic father or you come from a, your father who died or a mother who drinks or a, a, a very promiscuous family that I pray that you will be the one that breaks generational curses you're the first millionaire in your family you're the first one who decides to become sober. You're the first one who decides to uh, marry one woman and stay with one woman or marry one man and stay with one man. You're the first one who decides to get fit. You, right? You and me, right? By this prayer and by taking this notice today. So for anybody that's out there who's overweight and comes from an overweight family or comes from a, a family of alcoholism or comes from a family of godlessness or comes from a family of laziness, right? And depression, right? I'm praying for you, man. I don't, I don't know what it is you're going through, but that alcohol, that weed, that cannabis, that masturbation, chasing all those girls on Tinder, it's not going to save you. It's not. The thing that's going to help save you and save this world is you becoming the best version of yourself. No amount of hating an Asian, hating a black person, hating a white person, no amount of racism is going to help you. No amount of, 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 uh, of, of blinding yourself with uh, Black Lives Matter or all these things that are blinding you from your full potential is going to save you. What's going to save you is the Lord Jesus Christ and then you waking up and saying, no, I'm done. That's what this video is all about. I'm done. I'm done. No more pornography. No more pornography. Porn is not holding me down. No more low income. Low income is not going to hold me down. No more low self-esteem. That's not going to hold me down right? No more, no gains. That's not going to hold me down, right? I'm going to become clean. I need you to say this too. You're going to become sober. You're going to become hardworking. You're going to find new income sources. You're going to start helping people out and you're going to start becoming a better person. Today's video is about breaking generational curses. I know that many of y'all watch this and not understand, but I know that many of you will understand. And the ones that, are under, that will understand, I bet you any money will, will actually have come from dark ass shit you know like some shit that you can't really talk about in, in, in with your friend groups because nobody will understand you know nobody nobody's gonna really nobody's gonna understand that the fight that you're fighting you know, no one's gonna know that you're the only male in a female family and you're the one that's trying to develop and become a man right no one's gonna understand that you're, you're the the main provider for your own situation no one's gonna understand that you're the first one trying to break out of a family that's been on welfare for years no one's gonna understand that you're you're trying to break free from years of drug addiction no one's gonna understand that you're you're uh, removing yourself from years of holding yourself back. And no one is gonna understand your struggle and you becoming a new person. But the Lord knows, God knows. Just take whatever you have and and, and the person that you are, all the, the, the life that you have. I'm going to a job right now, I'm driving to work, but I'm making this video because 
even in the midst of you being 30 or 40 or 20 or 19 or whatever it is, that I pray that God gives you the strength to radically change your life. Nothing can stop somebody if they put their mindset on it. So I'm gonna correlate this to fitness, um, fitness and, and training as well too. Um, I come up from a family where no one has been ever fit before. I'm the first one becoming fit in my family, right? My family is full of people that have high percentages of body fat. And that's no critique to them, right? Because it's hard as a South Asian, right? Shout out to Team 3D Alpha, uh, as a South Asian to get in shape, right? We are naturally at a disposition. This is scientifically proven. But I'm gonna show you how I did it regardless. Because I don't care. I'm gonna get it popping. I'm gonna get jacked. I'm gonna get shredded. I'm gonna make muscle mass, baby. You know, I'm gonna show people that you can do it as long as you have the heart and passion for it. And no matter how much depression or apathy that you might be going through, it's not gonna be enough if you have enough willpower to go get it, right? Consistency will get you a result. I might not be jacked like um, Ashton Hall or like Arnold Schwarzenegger, but I'll still have a nice physique. I'll still have a solid physique. And that much, I can tell you, I'll still be at a low percentage of body fat. And I'll show you how I'll do it. The Lord wills those who have faith and who believe. So if you have faith like a mustard seed and you believe that your life could be something, even when you come from nothing, that's the beginning root of success. This video today has been about breaking generational curses. Stay blessed. We're, this is just day one of my channel. You're not, you guys are not realizing this, but I was watching, uh, this is just to give you an example. I was watching Ruslan KD's channel, and I know he's been uh, putting up you know, content for years, and I was with him when he was just below 50K subscribers, and now he's at 466K subscribers, all right? The man's, the man's got great stuff, all right? And praise the Lord, he's a great brother in Christ. But you know what? I'm about to show y'all how an average dude like me is gonna make some success on YouTube. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna become one of the best spoken narrators for the gospel in a South Asian skin that has ever been promoted, uh, ever been making content before. I'm sick and tired of the gospel being talked about when it's always another race. The Lord works in all people, all, all, whether it's gent whether it's black, white, brown, or whatever. And I'm gonna show you how the South Asian got it popping. That's it. Much love. And that doesn't, that doesn't make me better than you, by the way. That doesn't make me better than you. This is just to represent the kingdom in all fronts. And if you have been a minority your whole life and you face uh, opposition, my hair is naturally curly, so I come off more like I'm from Africa than anywhere else, and I'm actually Sri Lankan. I faced, I faced racism my whole life. I faced opposition my whole life. And I'm gonna show you how me and my skin tone, me and my race, me and my face was able to get it popping. Whether you hate me or you love me, I'm gonna show you how I made it happen. God bless. Stay tuned for way more content. Today's content, today's video today, breaking generational curses. I know we all have them, right? So listen, just to recap, if you're smoking weed right now, you have to put that shit down because you're breaking that. If you if you have been vaping, if you've been smoking cigarettes, you need to put that shit down because you're breaking that. If you've been lying and cheating people, you gotta stop doing that because that is the curse that you are breaking. If you have an anger and a rage problem and you have a problem with picking fights with people, you gotta stop picking fights with people and stay calm because you're breaking that generational curse. If your family's overweight and uh, you're you know you're trying to break that habit you got to start following Ethan easy fit because I'm gonna show you guys how I got fit in shape and what habits you need to put in to get yourself a great body right breaking generational curses do things that your parents couldn't do so that you can beat the battles that they couldn't beat and if you don't understand how real that is one day I hope you really watch my testimony story so that you can understand what it really looks like to come from darkness and find light no matter the obstacle Stay blessed and God bless all of you.